Good morning, everybody. I first off want to say thank you for all the insightful comments from your experience regarding my video a couple videos back, Horizon Hobby, one first flight, one disaster. That was the first flight on my property with an airplane. It was actually the first flight with that airplane, with that smart pack, with that NX-8 remote. So what's the update? That's what this video is for. I'm gonna do a couple other things. I will show you the crash here in a little bit. So hang on for that. The update is that the NX-8, two flights on it, one plane, it's going back to Horizon. So, you know, good or bad, it is what it is, right? You know, the plane is going back to Horizon as well. They're gonna take a look at it, and without a doubt, I know because of the testing that I did on it, you guys commented on, hey, I can follow your logic. They're gonna be able to follow that logic, follow my notes, recreate that situation. Just as a reminder, what it turned out to be was I had to enable safe in order to turn it off because even though I held the bind button down the whole time, it still had safe on it when I was checking the control surfaces. You know, and even the tech is saying, you know, don't, don't rely on that stuff. Who wants to get into these situations? We just want to fly, right? But... Uh, that was one of the selling points for that radio. I was at the hobby shop. I like to support local. It was a, you know, took a ride out there with my wife. She bought some things for the kids for Easter. I bought some things to include the remote. I said to the owner, Bruce at Walt's Hobby, sell me this radio. And he says, this thing is hot. Can't even get it in stock. People are stopping driving through central New York from Vermont and they're stopping through on their way through to wherever they're going, Ohio, right? I don't know. And asking if they have this radio and they buy it. The other major selling point, which was nice to me, you know, is they have all of the Horizon Hobby, E-Flight, bind and fly or plug and play as it may be, radios, uh, profiles, already in the plane so hey figured i'd try it you know I, I let them off easy not something i need certainly not you know i had a d dx8 gen 2 radio that i already had bound to the plane i was all set up to go to fly saw this remote and i didn't have safe programmed I didn't have the reversing prop programmed. I was just gonna fly, right? That's what we wanna do, we just wanna fly. And then I switched it. That morning, that evening, whatever, put put it in, checked it all out. And, and you guys commented. It, it sounded weird to me, and even the tech, it sounded weird too, that the file for that plane would have the reversing prop on the channel that's usually safe out I'm not horizon I'm not e flight I'm not spectrum so I thought hey there's got to be a reason for this whatever it is you know I, I don't follow the latest trends and news and you know all that good stuff but I'm smart enough to figure it out on my own and it turns out you know I went through but that remote had that bug. The bug was, as I flipped safe, there was two different situations, right? And there could be more, okay? But who wants to test all of them? The situations that I found out that they'll be able to recreate are, if you flip safe while you have the throttle on so yeah which is different than if you flip safe and then reapply the throttle which on my first flight I did not have the throttle on I was coming in for a landing 
I wanted more control and I wanted to make sure safe was off. So as I was coming in for my landing into the wind, very high lift plane, I didn't have the throttle on. Made sure safe was off, did a roll, came in for landing, all was smooth. Let me show you this video of the crash of what happened on the second flight. All right, and we're back. I'll insert that video there, right? First flight in the books, so I'm happy. Now I'm gonna actually have some fun. Or not. Oh uh, no. What in the world that was. But the rest of this video after this, if you want to stick around, I'm going to be talking about the, what I have to do. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do that on a whole nother video. I'll just leave this video for this. And my next video is going to be literally a bag of smart batteries. I got the updater for it. I got the smart checker, two different types of um, smart chargers, three all together, and a lot of connectors, which I'm gonna have to connect in order to get my IC2 battery to charge. The IC2 batteries, I bought two of those when I bought the new version two UMX A10. So yeah, how do I get those batteries to even charge? I mean, really, there's no balance plug on those batteries. So, that's what the next video is gonna be. It's gonna be all about how I'm gonna hook it up. And I have a few devices at hand. I have a 3D printer coming to the house. And if you guys aren't familiar, what I do for work. is I print in not only polymers, but also metals. So I may print something up for that and then also encase it in polymer so that I can do a charge on my smart technology batteries with a connector that I make. So yeah, stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I'll play that crash one more time. First flight in the books, so I'm happy. Now I'm gonna actually have some fun.
or not. Oh uh, no. What in the world that was? All right, Joshua, RC. Driving on the highway. Say much right now. You can go ahead and. That takes priority. Josh Weaver, RC. Out. <laughs>